One of the most requested Quest platform features is finally here. Yes, that's right, YouTube live chat integration is finally coming to the Quest platform. That means you'll be able to live stream your Quest gameplay and see the chat inside of your headset. This is a massive deal for a lot of people. Not just content creators, but to a lot of people this is going to be a big deal. Not only that, it actually shows that MetaQuest is listening to what we need in the community and they're making adjustments based on our feedback, which is huge when it comes to a gaming platform. Now, there are some caveats with this right now. You can see the chat in your headset while you're streaming your game but you will need a PC still to actually stream the gameplay because what's happening is you're actually streaming a browser to a PC and then you're capturing that with OBS and streaming from OBS or whatever your streaming software is. There isn't any direct YouTube connection support as of yet, but hopefully that'll come in the future. This is a great step in the right direction, especially if you already stream and you want to stream some Quest stuff and still interact with your chat. Keep in mind that I'm testing this in early access, so it's not available to the public as of yet, but hopefully soon we'll be seeing a full rollout so everyone can actually make use of this feature. I spent an hour live with this yesterday and I had a blast and a lot of people showed up and were chatting in the chat and it works beautifully. I'm going to show you how to set it up, how it works, and we're going to go through everything right now. First thing you're going to have to do once you get this feature is to grab your headset and throw it on. Then all you got to do is go to the camera button tab in the bottom bar, and you're going to see a go live button. Now, this is really simple. All you got to do is hit the go live button. You can choose whether you want to stream to Facebook or you want to stream to YouTube. Facebook actually directly streams, unlike with the YouTube function. Facebook will actually stream to a page or a personal page, and you can see the chat, so you don't technically need a PC for that, but that's another conversation as I don't generally stream to Facebook, but you can play around with that once you get access to the tool. Once you click on YouTube, a box is gonna pop up and you have to search for your YouTube channel. Make sure you put the capital letters in as well if it's got caps in it because it'll need to search for the exact name. This is the at name for your channel, by the way, not the title of your channel. So put the at name in and search. It'll pop up with the channel, show you your subscriber count, etc. so you know it's you and your logo. Then that's the only thing you need to do for integration because all it does is actually watch for a live chat on the YouTube channel that doesn't actually integrate or log in. It just watches for a chat. You can choose whether you want the microphone on or off for your Quest, which means you can actually just stream with your Quest. You don't need a separate microphone. You can use a separate microphone that leads into your PC and goes through OBS if you want to. And a lot of people probably choose to do that because you can control the volume levels better. I tried that and it didn't end up working because it was an online game. And currently right now, if you turn the mic off for the stream, you won't be able to be heard in the online game as well. So it's a catch 22. Hopefully they give us two different options for that. Okay, once you hit OK, a box is going to pop up and it's going to say to go to the Oculus streaming website. You're going to have to do this on your computer and actually do this inside of OBS because it makes it way easier. So in OBS, you're going to create a new browser and you're going to go to the oculus.com slash casting website in that browser. Once you've done that, you'll actually see the stream pop up inside of OBS. And the next thing you'll have to do is actually interact with the stream by right clicking on the browser and then hitting interact. You can actually interact with that stream so you can make changes like making it widescreen and making it full screen. You can also adjust the volume level of the browser as well because you're gonna get the audio through the browser for the stream in OBS. Once you're done all that, it's as simple as just setting up your stream on YouTube as you normally would. I'm not gonna go through and show how to do an actual stream on YouTube because there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do that. Anyways, once you're done that, it's gonna bring you to a box that probably will say that there was a problem that occurred because you're not currently streaming, but you'll be able to look around and see the box. You can place it in the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. And it kind of pins there just outside of your field of view when you're not looking at it, but you can glance over to the left or right, up or down, and actually see the box, and that's where the chat is going to be. Now, you're not going to actually see the chat until the channel goes live on YouTube. You're just going to see a box that has a monkey in it right now because it's not actually actively live. And that's pretty much it. As soon as you hit start streaming and you've got the stream set up, on your YouTube channel, even before you hit go live when the chat is already functioning, before everyone, before you actually physically go live, you'll see the chat in your headset so you can see that it's working and you can see who's talking and all that cool stuff. 
Now, one cool thing to note is that there's a limited view of the chat while you're in the game. It's just a small box and it's only gonna show the last few messages, but if you, but if you actually hit the Oculus button and go to the camera tab, it'll show a wider expanded view of the chat with more messages so you can actually look back and see who's talking. You can also make some adjustments to your settings like the positioning of the chat box and whether you want your mic active and all that stuff right in that menu as well. And that's pretty much it. I spent an hour in Horizon with Jay Dunn and chatting with people in chat and it just works. It's easy. Now I wanna figure out how to do better audio for my vocal audio because as you can hear right here, I love the reload animations in this actually. The right. Quest Pro audio, at least, which is what I was using, isn't the best. It's okay for in-game chat. I'd rather something more clean for actual streaming so that people can hear me a little bit better. And I think it's single-player games that'll be really easy, but it's the multiplayer that gets me because currently if you turn your mic off, like I said, for the stream, you're going to turn it off for the online game as well. But hopefully we'll get two different settings for that at some point. But that's it. That's how you stream with the new YouTube chat function on the Quest platform. Hopefully as the Quest 3 rolls out and more people jump into VR, this will become a staple of the platform. And eventually maybe we'll be able to log in on the actual Quest to YouTube and stream directly. But even if we can't, this is a great step in the right direction. Let me know what you think. Comment down below with if you're going to use this function when you get it, if you're excited to be able to stream and see a chat in headset, and let me know if you want me to stream on the channel and talk to all of you while I'm playing some games. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I know a lot of people have really wanted to experiment with and actually get working, so I'm happy that MetaQuest has listened to the community and finally brought this feature to the Quest platform, or at least is bringing it very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for all things Quest, and happy questing.